Good morning guys. I am going to do a little bit of a different video for you today. It's going to be a compilation of many videos over who knows how long, because um, I'm just starting. So uh, definitely multiple days, could be over the course of a week or two, who knows. But I'm going to show you some of the meals that I make from the food that I find in the dumpster. So we're going to start off really simple uh, for breakfast. I'm going to have some scrambled eggs with Colby Jack cheese. I'm going to add some spinach. This personally did not come from the dumpster, but um, I do find greens in the dumpster a uh, fairly a decent amount. So um, these did not come from the dumpster. I bought these at the store, but they could have come from the dumpster. I'm going to add some garlic from the dumpster, and this bacon is also from the dumpster. I'm going to heat up on the side. Um, I'm going to add some salt and onion powder as well. So I will uh, give you a little update when I'm almost done. Here we are cooking away. I am going to, oh no, my garlic fell out. Add some garlic and some cheese right now. Kind of hard with one hand. Let's go for it. Spilling cheese everywhere, that's okay. Eh, struggling. I might not be able to do this on camera. Alright, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Here we go. Alright, that was three cloves. I might need... Oh, well, there it all is. I'm going to scrape that off, and I will update you guys when I'm done. So here is the finished product, and it is on um, my dumpster plate. If you guys have been watching for a long time, this was a very long time ago. I found a set of these plates in the thrift store dumpster, and I absolutely love them because they have, like, this little lip, and they have a little pheasant on them, so fabulous. Um, I was going to have some dumpster orange juice in a dumpster cup, but I wasn't feeling it, so I just have water over there. Um, but anyways, here's my eggs, my bacon, a little uh, tip I guess if you don't do this already. I like to cook the bacon first and then put the eggs in after where I cook the bacon and it gives them a really nice bacony flavor. So here's my dumpster breakfast. Okay, for the start of our next meal from the dumpster, I'm going to do some chopping here with my brand new uh, knife that I got in my last haul. I have only tested it out but it looks super sharp and I'm very excited about the set of these that I got. Um, but I'm going to make like a little bit of a... Mm, a little bit of a like a Mexican salad type deal. So I have the lettuce over here. I'm going to chop up a little bit more. Some tomatoes, even though I don't like them, I'm going to sacrifice my likes. <laughs> um, I'm going to chop up like half of the yellow one, one red one, and then I'm going to slice up the rest of them to put in um, the crock pot, which I'll show you later. And then I'm going to for, uh, put some corn on it. And for the dressing, I'm going to mix together Catalina and ranch to get a little bit of a uh, fancy flavor going on there. So I'm just going to chop up a little bit here. it into a uh, Tupperware over here just for storing until I get home from work later. Alright, there's all the, I should have gotten a bigger Tupperware actually. There is all the lettuce chopped up. Let's cut this in half. Alright, I'll save that heart half. Oh yeah, this is a very good knife. Highly recommend it. It is, I don't know how to say that, Xylus, Xylus brand. Alrighty. Alright, I'm going to turn this off for you guys so you don't get bored to death. Okay, so here is the salad. Um, you can't see it, but this is all the lettuce down in there. I ended up putting some olives and some Mexican cheese on the top as well, which also came from the dumpster. So now I'm going to get started on the meat and I will show you guys that as well. And here is the rest of the meal. So if you guys remember a while ago, I found these humongous 
beef briskets in the dumpster. I just took this one out of the freezer yesterday and I have one left in the freezer. Um, so I cut it in half. I put the other half right there. I'm going to put that back in the fridge, maybe marinate it for a few days. Um, I put it in here fat side up, little tip. Um, yeah, put the fat side up. <laughs> and I put the rest of the bell peppers in here, seasoned it up real good. Cumin is my absolute favorite seasoning and we're going Mexican today so I put some on. Um, and then this is the crock pot I found in the dumpster. The only thing I found is that it cooks a little bit um, hot, a little bit hotter than usual. So I'm going to put it on high for four and a half hours. Mm, I'm going to go four hours. I don't want it to be overcooked. Um, and then it'll go to, let's go four and a half. <laughs> it'll go to warm after that um, until I turn it off. So once this is all cooked, the layer of fat will be able to be literally picked up and thrown away or used however and then the rest of it will shred up nicely and I think I'm going to also put this fajita sauce in it I did not find this in the dumpster but I've had it for a while so I think I might as well include it and again this knife is fabulous it just cut through that meat like it was nothing so uh, yeah I will show you a picture when it's all done I wanted to show you the process of uh making the peanut butter banana smoothies that I love so much. So I just found this little box of bananas here. I'm going to chop up a few for you on camera, finish up the rest, and then when they're all frozen, I will show you uh, the actual smoothie making process. So I have my new knife, and let me grab a few bananas and start chopping. So a lot of the times I'll find them in little bunches connected still. This is going to be hard to do with one hand. But I'll usually just top, chop off the top, then unpeel them. Let me try to do this as fast as I can. See, these are not even really ripe yet. So there's one. I'll just give you a little, a little glimpse. Okay, so we got two peeled bananas. Usually I'll do three or four at a time, but two is good. And then I'll just chop them up. Yep, that's it. And then I will move those over to a Tupperware and continue that process for all of these bananas. All right, I'm gonna throw in a little taste test of this pulled pork jerky that I found. Uh, like I said, it's really soft. It doesn't actually feel like jerky. That's what it looks like in the bag. Let's see if I can grab some. Alright, so if you can see that, it's not really focused on it, but it does look like pulled pork. Let me taste it. Hmm. Alright. It definitely has the flavor of pulled pork and somewhat the texture. It is a little bit harder though, more like jerky, but it is actually pretty close to the texture as well. It's much softer than regular jerky because it's shredded up, I'm assuming. But the flavor is pretty spot on for pulled pork, so if you like pulled pork, I would recommend that. So let me show you what I do with the frozen bananas. It's been a few days since, well, a day since you saw me chop up the bananas. So here they are all frozen. I actually take them out of the freezer and let them thaw for a little bit before I make this just so it's easier on the blender. But all you need is frozen bananas, peanut butter, a blender, and water. And this is my absolute favorite thing in the entire world. I could drink this smoothie all day, every day. Um, and that's why I like finding bananas so much in the trash which all these bananas and this peanut butter were because um, then it's free. So let me uh, get this all together and then I will show you the process. So here it is, super easy. I just, I'm making a small one right now, uh, just a little bit for me, but I put in the bananas, a little scoop of peanut butter, and then filled it with water. I will change up the water level depending on if I want it thicker or smoother. And then I'm just going to click Blend. Sorry if this is loud. And 
that's it. Super easy, super creamy, but absolutely delicious. <laughs> Highly recommend doing this. So this next recipe is super easy, and it's actually fairly healthy as well. It's a better alternative, I guess, to the original um, pancake. And all of my ingredients, aside from the cinnamon, I have found in the dumpster as well. So they're pretty easy ingredients to find if you also dumpster dive, so you've probably found them as well. You need one banana, preferably a little bit brown. This one's a little bit less ripe than even I would usually use. But you need one banana, two eggs, and one third cup of just regular oats. I'm using the Quaker oats because that's what I had on hand. That's what I found. Uh, to remember this recipe, I just think three, two, one. And that's all you need. I'm also going to add a little vanilla, which I found at the dollar store in the trash, and then some cinnamon just to make the flavor a little bit better. I have never actually made it in my blender. <laughs> it is, it's kind of clean. I just made my smoothie in it and I'm, yeah, it's fine. So it's just banana and peanut butter in there. But um, I've only ever made it in a Nutribullet, which works awesome, um, but my Nutribullet unfortunately broke. So we're gonna try it in this um, blender. And then I have the griddle heating up as well. So let me just scoot this over and we'll get started. So, you need two eggs. Actually, I'm going to add the banana first. I guess I should have peeled it a little bit more. It's hard with one hand. Okay, so in goes the banana. The whole banana. Ooh, this is tough. There we go. Okay. One banana, two eggs, One third cup of oats. When I first, first, first made this, I added some water because I thought it was too thick, but then it doesn't um, do well on the griddle. So I just added some cinnamon. Let me add a few drops of vanilla. Ooh, <laughs> that was kind of a lot, but it's cheap, so it doesn't have that strong flavor, anyways. All right, now we're going to hopefully grind it up. So it worked fairly well actually. I'm going to scrape the uh, leftover oats off the side and I will keep you guys updated. I have some poured out on the griddle now and that I got those two pancakes and I have probably enough for one or maybe two small ones left. So if you are feeding more than one, maybe two people, I would definitely recommend doubling the recipe, which I have done before. It works out just fine. So you would need two bananas, four eggs, and two-thirds cup of oats. But let me just show you when this one's ready really quick that they flip just like regular pancakes. I don't think it's ready quite yet. No. But uh, they're pretty tasty. I mean, they taste like banana. You can taste the banana in it for sure. But with some toppings, they are delicious. I, I would recommend this one as well. And this meal for me was free. I'm being antsy here because I want to show you guys how to flip, like what it looks like when you flip it. Yeah, we'll go, go ahead and flip this one. So they do get a little bit darker because of the banana, but that is completely fine. Just make sure everything is all greased up. All right, this is going to be the last recipe I include in this video, and it might go horribly wrong. I will let you guys know. I'm going to make, I just kind of looked up a recipe with what things that I have that I found in the dumpster. So I looked up pear peanut chicken pasta, and uh, we're going to go for it. So I've got some water starting to boil here. I'm going to cook my pasta regularly. This Most of this has come from the dumpster, so I will let you know. Um, this has come from the dumpster. I'm going to cook that up. And then it says to mix creamy peanut butter with white vinegar. And I could have sworn I had white vinegar. However, I can't find it anywhere. So 
Um, we're using apple cider vinegar, which I have also found in the trash, so this might be disgusting, but we're going to give it a go. And then it says to add some pear, thinly sliced, to that, as well as some chopped up peanuts. Again, all of this has come from the dumpster. If you remember a while back, I found a ton of these jalapeno peppers. It said to add serrano chili peppers, but we're going to supplement for these jalapeno peppers. Uh, and then the chicken, I do have chicken in my freezer still that I found uh, in the dumpster when it was a little bit colder, but I'm feeling lazy right now and I don't want to thaw it, and this is much, much easier. So I'm just going to use this chicken with, with uh, the meal. And then it's going to need some salt and stuff like that. This one I'm a little nervous for, but we're going to give it a go. So I am mixing the vinegar with the peanut butter. It's getting nice and creamy, actually. And I added a little bit of the jalapeno juice as well. I, we're experimenting here. I'm going to chop up... Actually, I think this might be too thick. I may need to add some water. It did call for water in the recipe. Um, I'm going to add some peanuts, pear, and a few of the jalapenos chopped up as well. And again, who knows if this is going to taste good. Not me, but... I will keep you guys updated. We're just going to rough chop these peanuts because they're already in pieces. good enough on the peanuts for now and I'm gonna chop up some jalapenos I think I'm gonna take the seeds out because that's the spicy stuff I don't want it too spicy because <laughs> this meal is already strange so I'm actually gonna do that after and then I'm gonna chop up a pear as well I have another that I can chop up if I think I need it, but I don't want to waste it if I don't end up liking it. So we'll see. The pasta is ready and sauce is looking interesting for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it all together. And then I'll give it a little taste for you guys without the chicken. I'm just going to... Ooh, that's a lot of sauce. Alright, that's good. It definitely smells like peanut butter, which, I mean, you guys know I love peanut butter, so I guess that's positive. It, lo it looks quite gross. Oh man, I hope I didn't waste all this. Alright, I'm going to give it a little go, try to get some of everything in it. I don't want that much right now. Well, I guess I'm going to get it. <laughs> okay. Got some noodle with the sauce. And then let me see. Go over here, grab some pear. And jalapeno. And peanut. Alright. Fingers crossed. Hmm. Um, it's definitely that apple cider vinegar that I wouldn't recommend. However, it's edible. <laughs> I probably won't ever be eating this again, but uh, if I could get a little bit of that acidity from the apple cider vinegar out of here, it really wouldn't be that bad at all. So I'm not going to say I recommend this dish, but I wouldn't say it's a total waste. Uh, interesting note to end on, <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. This video is a little bit different than my usual videos, but I hope you enjoyed, and I'll be back again soon with more dumpster diving related videos. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.